everyone, it's me again. And once again, we are working on... I'm trying to put my phone somewhere so you don't have to look at it keep going on and off. Once again, we are going to work on the Art Journal Habit watercolor book. Let me turn off my cell phone so we don't have to have that happen. Okay, so let's see. We need water. 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 You know, there's a lot of those test things that are on Facebook, and I have to say, I know they're clickbait, but I fell for it one time, and it asks how you pronounce words, and according to how you pronounce the words, it would tell you what part of the country you were from. So I took the test and clicked all the little boxes and everything, and I was so mad when I saw the results. It said that I speak like I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. Can't imagine why after living there 23 years I sound just like them. But I'm from Texas. So I get to Texas and they say I sound like a Yankee when I'm in the East Coast, in the Upper East Coast. Then they say I sound like I'm from the South. Nobody's happy. <laughs> Least of all me. I don't want to talk with a Texas twang because I never grew up talking like that, but I'm kind of mortified that that thing, that you know, predictor of language was right, because I do sound like I'm from Norfolk, Virginia after living there for umpteen years. All right, so today I'm going to do some flowers. I will link the, I will link my source for the picture down in the um, description box below. You know, down there. Uh, the one that says show more. If you're on a, if sometimes if you're on the, a PC or you're on a laptop, it'll say show more. You click on that and then everything unfolds from there. If you're on a cell phone, sometimes it's difficult to get to that stuff. A tablet, yeah, is probably more like the PC and the um, PC. But, did I say that right? If you're on a cell phone, cell phone, if you're on a tablet, it's more like the laptop and the PC. Sorry. I think I missed a lot of sleep last night. It's nap time. <laughs> Alrighty, so I need some water and some more paint. I need more water. I... Evidently don't understand about watery watercolors. <laughs> it's too watery for me. See, look there. Right off the bat. It should be way watery. Way watery. All right, let's try it this way. These are blob flowers. They're not real... When I look at them, I think of ranunculus. Or ranunculus, is that how it's pronounced? Flowers. I was watching a video the other night with uh, Creation Cece. She is from Canada and sounds just like it. <laughs> she speaks French, so she is bilingual, at least bilingual. She speaks English and French. And she was so excited in her broadcast because she got this, I guess it's the silver button for having over 100,000 subscribers. And I have to tell you, I think that is an awesome feat as a YouTuber when YouTube keeps changing the rules of advertising and content and blah, blah, blah. It's a wonder people get any subscribers at all. To be honest with you, it is a little aggravating. As a person who is not monetized, it is a, a little scary because one of the things YouTube says is, is that we have to give credit to the person or persons who we get music from. And they provide it in the YouTube library. For those of you who don't make YouTube videos, there are copyright issues involved in the music. So... You have to give credit where credit is due unless YouTube says this is uh, trademark free so you don't have to really give anybody any credit. Well, a person that I used 
music from G since the beginning I started doing this has now decided that he would like credit. So that means myself and others like me have to go back and give him credit in our videos or your your video is held up for review for being demonetized, which I think is not fair because at the time when I included his music in my videos, it was legal, it was not trademarked, and we were told it was okay to use it. So now he's changed his mind. So now, now I don't have, I think I have a hundred and, if I remember correctly, 133 videos. So now I have to go back through all my videos and try to remember the music that I used that is now trademark copyrighted. I think that once you use that music, you ought to be grandfathered in or excused from having to give credit to this person because now he's changed his mind. Um, I took it in good faith that the music was allowed to be used and then the rules were changed after the fact. So now I gotta go back through my videos and change my stuff because this person wants credit. Uh, I like his music, but I won't be using it in any more videos because I'm not going to spend all my time looking back through my videos to see which ones he did the music on. So for future use, I will no longer being used any I will no longer be using any of his music. Because now he has made it a burden for me to have to go back and look through all the videos. And I, I think that once you use his music from a certain day forward, you know, I understand I have, to, I have to give credit. But I also understand that I will never use his music again because I'm not going to spend all my time typing in credits when I was told it was from the free music library. And now it's, oh, no, it's not free now. You have to give credit. Although you don't have to pay for it, but you have to give him credit. So I can only imagine how people who um, have been around way longer than me are kind of flustered because they have to go back through all their videos. And of course, you know, they're going to get flagged. And if you're monetized, getting flagged is a pain because then you have to wait, you have to appeal it. And then you have to wait for them to appeal it. And from what I understand, it's not a hard process but it is a little disconcerting to those who thought that the music was fine or that whatever is fine and now they've got this new children's thing copa well while i'm not coming and glued over it i am slightly annoyed that we're going to be clumped into a category the arts and crafts group is going to be clumped into a category that we might be child appealing because we are painting we are using scissors, we are using Crayola brand colored pencils, or anything that a child is familiar with that brand or with that concept. This is not for a child. This is not child painting. And then to have, you know, your stuff demonetized or you are fined $43,000 by the Fed Federal Trade Commission because you are appealing to children and you didn't mark it as child appealing or might appeal to a child seems to me as a bit ridiculous. But who am I? You know, I, I'm not monetized, so I, get, I probably won't say, I can't say anything. I mean, I have no recourse or they don't listen to the little guy. It just seems unfair to me. I don't know. Just seems unfair. And... You know, so I'm not wild and crazy about the idea of having to go back and redo my music and then being told that I should check my meta tags to make sure I take the word play out so that I have to make sure that it's not appealing to a child or shows up in some little kid's um, YouTube catalog. It just, it, it is... Um, Sometimes I think that um, it's more trouble than it's worth. I say that as I, I look to see how many viewers I have and I look to see how many minutes 
I don't know how many of you, ooh, that's terrible, how many of you guys are other YouTubers that are watching, but those of you who are not, the criteria is you mu to be monetized, you must have the minimum of 1,000 viewers, subbies, and you must do 240,000 minutes of viewing time. Now, there are 60 minutes in an hour, and you divide that into 240,000 minutes, you end up with 4,000 hours of viewing time. That's a lot of viewing time. When you do a 10 or a 20 minute video and 50 people watch it, that's awesome. But not everybody watches the video the whole way through. Some of them will watch for three minutes and go, oh, this is not for me, or oh, I don't like the music, or I don't like what she's doing, whatever. And then they leave. Yes, those three minutes count, but can you imagine if all your 1,000 subscribers, minimum 1,000 subscribers, only watched your stuff for three minutes and left? How long it would take you? It would be forever, forever. So they upped the standards a couple years ago. I think it was in 2017. They upped the standards of what you had to do, the criteria you had to match to be monetized. Now it's all over the internet that if you are appealing to children, they're going to take away the ability for anyone to comment on your video and your money will be substantially reduced. You cannot, uh, there's so many restrictions that tie your hands for the things that they're not going to let you do with this um, new rule they have. So, you know, if people sound aggravated it's because they are because they are unsure how this is going to affect their money affect their videos so on and so forth all right these are okay but this guy's not and i think i'll have to dry this so that i can paint over this to give it you know more rounded bloom and i need to do my colors don't i me i'm yammering on about youtube politics and I'm sure the majority of you could care less. Whoops, there goes the hand. Lovely, just lovely. There's that one. And we have to use this one. Okay, so let me write these down before I forget what I'm doing. This is 05. And the lavender is number 60. The blue is number, uh, no number. Uh, really, yeah. This one's 08. This one's no number. Uh, what other one did I use? I used the orange, didn't I? Okay, so let's go back and take care of the orange. So this one will be this. I like the orange. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm not against orange. I'm people happens to like it, but lately I've really liked orange and watercolor. There's not too many colors in watercolor I don't like. Yeah, that's that's a true statement. There's not too many colors in here that I don't like, except for the ones that run together. All right, let me dry. I've decided I don't particularly like how this color. I don't think that color really fits in with the rest of it. So I think I'm going to go back and redo this color since it's dry now. I dried it with the heat gun. I think I'm going to go back and use number eight. And try to cover it up a little bit more. Whoops, maybe that was a mistake to make that judgment. Yep. <laughs> Big mistake. All right, so let's take the water and tone it down a bit. A little too dark. Let's leave some light in there. I was kind of hoping the other color would blend in, but I don't really think it's going to do that. And I may have to go back with a white pen and add my white to that one. Wow, that really sticks out. All right, to detract from that, <laughs> I might have to go with the... 
plan B, which is be careful. <laughs> so we're going to use 60 again. I think that's what we need to do. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe we should just leave it alone. Uh, I don't know. I am not digging this one. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to do the green. And of course I'm using the no-name lime green sort of color. And I'm putting it, sorry you can't see my dish. Putting in this filthy dish that I used last night for a different project. I'm currently taking a mixed media journaling class. I have mixed feelings about my work, about how I have perceived the things to be. Not sure how I'm doing. All right, so you to go like this. And all they did was draw different stems, assuming that you've grabbed them all together and the flowers are going, you know, this every different which way. Okay, and then they have leaves. I don't think the leaves were really meant to signify anything real. Do that. But the ones on the upper portion of the photo or the watercolor I'm using as my example do tend to look more real. And they go out the top. And then one goes off to the side like this. And down kind of in with the flowers. Hmm. And then there's more off here, but it's I drew this too far off from the middle of the page for it to really have impact. So I'm just going to kind of put them kind of scribble them in. And then the other one this way because it's really not going to be seen. I think that I need a little green in between some of the flowers, like maybe in there. A little more in here. I think that'll do it. All right, this one definitely has doodling on it. I'm going to go dry. I forgot to put my green on here. Let's take care of that. My no-name green. I love this color. I'm thinking it's kind of like a lime green. I, I love the color. It's one of my favorite colors. No number. And as I look, was looking at the picture while I was drying, I think I need to uh, go back through the yellow ones and add something, a darker color. What that would be, I have no idea. Can I mix? Yes, I can. Maybe I can mix a little of number 21. with something else. <laughs> Maybe the green? I don't know. I just feel like it needs something. Oh, yeah, no. <coughs> that definitely is unwanted. Okay, so that's not going to work. But evidently this will. Well, maybe, if I get it right. Do a little more in the center so it's a little darker. Let me go with this. Hmm. 
you know, give it a little more depth, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if I push the water out or push the paint out to the very outside edges. This is very dark in the middle. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, the blue needs a little more definition. So it's number eight. See, this is why I number stuff, because I forget. If I was just doing this for me, I would just paint it and not put the numbers on it, but I might need to use this as a reference some other time. So that's why I thought maybe it might be a good idea if I put the numbers on there. You know, we've been having really odd weather here lately. It was hot, then it was freezing cold, now we're back in the 70s. I cannot keep my clothes straight. <laughs> I'm hot right now and I put on a three-quarter sleeve shirt with no collar but you know when the sun goes down I'm going to be looking for a sweater saying oh what was I thinking I'm cold uh-huh see when a Texan says they're cold you know it's bad news <laughs> oh I made that worse so let's just add water and smear it all kind of together I think once I doodle on it, it'll look much better. I like this one and this one and this one. Not so much. I'm hoping doodling would, you know, disguise that mess. <laughs> All right, let's dry real quick. I have my trusty Uniball Signo DX pen that it says it's 0.38. Now I'm going to go around these in an imperfect way, absolutely, and draw what I perceive to be leaves. The representation of them shall we say. Yeah. And do this one. And then I think they outlined all these stems with the black which is exactly what I am going to do. I don't think there's anything really realistic about this. I should have made those closer together, I think. Okay, live and learn. All right, so we're going to go around some of this, but not all of it. Because in the photo that I'm following, they don't go around all of them either. They just kind of wiggly outline a few strategic places, and that's about it. Just to give you the idea that it is a flower form of some sort. And then this one. It's down in here around. I find this very relaxing. And then once I do this one, I, I want to go on to something else, but I'm trying to control my urge to get crazy. Because I, I don't want to overdo this and finish the whole book and say, okay, I'm done. I need to pace myself. It ain't easy when you're a crazy person. It's not easy when you enjoy doing something and you want to keep going to explore more, to experiment more. 
and I'm, I'm trying to kind of curb the urge to go nuts. <laughs> this is why we take naps. This is why we watch TV in between. We go knit instead so that we don't turn out to be a nut job. Well, might be too late. I don't know. <laughs> Urgh. Yeah, I'm not loving that one. But this is supposed to be more, I think, of an abstract than anything else. As you can see, I'm, I'm taking this rather seriously. Let's do the blue. I think I can be loosey-goosey with the blue. It's so dark. I don't know if anyone will notice there's any pen marks in it at all. Well, maybe a few. Better than I thought. All right, let's do this messed up one here. And do him with circles. So it looks like he's facing that way. Hmm. Well, mine doesn't look like exactly like the inspiration photo, but I you know. Let me pull you in so you can see what I did. Focus, come on. It's a very loose interpretation of the photo I'm using. <laughs> very loose. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, okay. I think this one needs a little more. Purple one is good. The blue is questionable. And you know, after I didn't like this and then got the darker color on it, it's not horrible. Not fabulous, but it's not horrible. I'm okay with it, kinda. Not kinda. <laughs> Alrighty, so today's November the 19th, and that'll do it for my yammering today. And here was, whoops, here was yesterday's the tomato, so you know I really am sticking to the order. And then tomorrow will be the 20th, and the videos are going up uh, two days late, two to three days late, because it takes me a while to upload. But I am going in the order, I'm trying to go in the order in which I painted them. I did go back with this one and take a black pen and outline it. I'm not sure that was the right thing to do, but it's a done deal now. Huh? <laughs> I'm not, I did, after I filmed the tomato, I did go back and outline the stem. But I wasn't sure if I should go ahead and outline the body of the tomato or leave it alone. I think maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead. This is a concept that is foreign to me. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, <laughs> this is today's <laughs> creation. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow or thereabouts. You know what it is? This, this, and this. All these three. I'm looking at it. I'm sorry. I'm talking and, and processing at the same time. These two, three, all kind of look the same. This should have maybe been darker darker no or this should have been a different color of some sort they just there's too many warm colors right here together so it looks kind of odd to me you know what you what you paint and what you see in your face is kind of different than what you see on the camera I'm looking at the camera and I'm thinking oh look at all these warm colors right here should spread them out and there's two four six flowers there should be an odd number because that's more pleasing to the eye yeah, well, yeah. Amateur mistake yet again. See, same thing I did over here. Six flowers. Not good. Oh, they, do they look the same? No. 
No. <laughs> Maybe. All right, guys. Bye. Okay, so I decided to add a little addendum on to the end of the uh, video that I filmed yesterday because I went back with a black pen and did the drawings on this. And I like it much better with that on there. It defines it a little, a little more for me. But I also want to add something else. I'm going to link a video in the description box that is from an attorney who specializes in media issues, who's breaking down the issues about YouTube. If you're a YouTube maker, a video maker, on any subject, you need to watch this video because your videos may be in peril of being deleted from YouTube. Um, this has to do with the law of federal law from the Federal Trade Commission that wasn't really enforced very well. And now they have fined YouTube and now YouTube is coming after us. So if, unless you think you will never fall into that net, I really think you should watch this video. It is very informative. Makes me nervous, but it is very informative. So that's it for me. Oh, and there's one other thing. I, I'm going to show this to you, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video, put the video up of it. This is day 18. I did a, the tomato, but it's such a small video, and there's not much to this. I think I might have to figure out something else. I did see something on Pinterest where it was a tomato slice, but I would have to make it really small because, you know, I'm working on this one page here. Um... So you may or may not see the video for this tomato, but it is the 18th of November, and then I'm trying to upload the 17th. I'll upload it tonight, and you should see it before this one plays. If not, something has gone horribly wrong. I tried to upload it last night, and it said it was a duplicate video. Uh, it wasn't. And I spent all that time hovering over the video at 3.30 in the morning trying to get it to upload, and it took nearly... Two hours and then it goes oh no we've abandoned it because it's a duplicate video no it was not so I'm a little aggravated this morning so I wanted to come back on and add on to the video and tell you that this is the finished product oops sorry I got some on my fingernail and then um, watch the video that I'm going to link down below because it's really important if you're a YouTube person or you watch children's videos or Adults who film videos using children's toys that they collect or paint in their art, that kind of thing, those YouTube videos may be disappearing. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you need to watch this guy's video. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.